at Columbia Asia Hospital Sharjapur Road at the entry points of the hospital there is thorough screening of every patient and staff member entering the building by asking about travel history symptoms contact information and taking temperature through a non contact thermometer there are also non contact sanitizers kept at entrances for everyone to perform hand hygiene and enter the building there is a triage based system adopted to segregate patients having flu like and respiratory symptoms at the entrance screening desk a separate flu clinic opd is designed right outside the main building for these consultations with a designated doctor thorough and frequent deep cleaning is done of our clinical and non clinical rooms opd consultation rooms opd and lobby waiting areas and their furniture all workstations inside patient rooms and icus elevators cafeteria and all common area touch points with disinfectants social distancing has been encouraged and practiced in all public areas such as elevators our patient waiting areas reception counters and cafeteria emergency department is well equipped with all scanning and triaging procedures to segregate patients with infectious and non infectious ailments and treat them with dedicated staff wearing complete ppes so first of all when a patient comes in we have made masks mandatory for everyone for patient and attender who comes inside the emergency department door once they come inside uh, one of our nurses triage them as in like we ask for symptoms of uh, fever or respiratory illness or any history of travel or contact to any positive cases or if the person is coming from a containment zone then the nurse screens for the temperature if any of this above is positive then the nurse informs the er doctor inside who comes out and sees the patients there at that point of time we measure the patient's saturation uh, respiratory rate heart rate and blood pressure based on that we triage the patient further and we do maintain a minimum spacing of around 2 meters between bed between all the beds there are full length sheets to prevent any uh, cross contamination or transmission from one patient to another okay at the reception we are our staff are wearing full set of ppes which is basically a 95 mask with goggles with a gown and gloves along with that uh, the screening station is uh, um, separated by a acrylic glass sheet to prevent any uh, transmission further transmission okay all our doctors and staff in emergency department are wearing full ppes our advanced life care ambulances are available with all critical equipment to transfer patients for any emergencies along with trained nurses and emergency technicians there is segregation of patients admitted with flu like respiratory conditions on separate floors vis-a-vis remaining patients so that surgical and medical patients are not admitted in the same wings and patients with infectious diseases are treated in isolation by dedicated staff wearing appropriate pp the intensive care units have isolation negative pressure rooms inside for admitting any patients with respiratory complications and infectious diseases at our hospital we have ensured an extremely meticulous implementation of all who and globally accepted infection control protocols to make sure that all our patients attendants and staff members are in a safe infection free environment inside the hospital we have ensured strict social distancing in all public areas inside the hospital have made masks and sanitizers available all across the hospital uh we have done frequent and thorough disinfection of all outpatient inpatient areas as well as our operating theaters and most importantly have ensured that our doctors nurses and all clinical staff have adequate and appropriate ppe at all times we have allocated uh, specific beds in er a separate operating theater and a separate floor in the hospital building for admitting any infectious disease patients who may require urgent or immediate intervention we are also connecting with our patients through video consultations and home services of lab sample collection home physiotherapy and delivery of medicines at their doorsteps
Our smart operating theatres are designed using latest HEPA filters that help in complete air changes after each surgery, ensuring complete exhaustion out of all aerosols and gases between two surgeries, thus preventing any chance of contamination between two surgeries. We ensure utmost sanitization, disinfection and a complete sterile environment inside the OT. So at Columbia Sarjapur Road, in view of the COVID situation, the pandemic that's going on, we have taken special precautions to see that surgery is done safely. One of the important things that we always stress, COVID or not, is hand sanitization. It's the one important thing that ensures that our patients are safe. We also isolate them separately in the pre-operative area and in the post-operative period, away from all medical patients. And cardiac is exclusive. We have an exclusive OT where the air circulation is exclusive and it goes through three HEPA filters which make sure that the viral filtration is 99.9%. And all the exhausted air is sent separately. With this, we ensure safety of both patient and the team. And similarly, in the post-operative ICU, we have an exclusive ICU where uh, the nurses are adequately trained uh, to see that at all times there are masks used. We have special procedures for conducting the chest physiotherapy, making a patient cough, whereby all the air is taken separately. And the inter-bed distancing for us, as it is, is more than eight feet. So that is adequate distance for separating patients from one from the other. OT also is deep cleaned and uh, disinfected for 50 minutes before another case is taken in that OT. With all these precautions, uh, it's very safe to go undergo elective surgery at Columbia Asia Sarjapur Road. We have taken all safety measures and thorough steps to ensure a completely infection-free environment and to control the spread of COVID-19 to any of our staff and patients.